Good evening and thank you for joining us for news from a Catholic perspective. I'm Wyatt Goolsby in for Lauren Ashburn. President Trump says North Korea is behaving in a very, very dangerous manner and he's considering, quote, very severe things to respond to their test launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile. The remarks came during the president's visit to Warsaw, Poland. Correspondent Mark Irons is following the president's trip from the White House. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Wyatt. President Trump is on his second overseas trip. He's vowing to confront new forms of aggression targeting the West. He's also calling on Russia to stop provoking unrest around the world. All this ahead of the G20 summit in Germany. President Trump ending his day in Hamburg, greeted by German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Before arriving in Germany, President Trump visited Warsaw's Krasinski Square in Poland. It's the site of the uprising against Nazi occupation. Mr. Trump told thousands of Poles gathered there that the country's triumph over hardship is a model for the future. Just as Poland could not be broken, I declare today for the world to hear that the West will never, ever be broken. Our values will prevail. Our people will thrive. And our civilization will triumph. On the eve of his first meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin, the president called for Moscow to stop fomenting unrest around the world. We urge Russia to cease its destabilizing activities in Ukraine and elsewhere, and its support for hostile regimes, including Syria and Iran. In Poland, a country with deep Catholic roots, many people admire Trump. Some say they like the way he tries to preserve national traditions and protect borders. This is a very good experience for us, uh, for people from Poland and from Europe, because Donald Trump say very grateful and very good word to us. And uh, his visit is most important to our future policy of Europe. Others were impressed at how well the president seemed to know Polish history. Great energy, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, Poland in the speech, not, not all about America. Uh, I really liked it. The president dined this evening with President Moon of South Korea and Prime Minister Shinzo Abe of Japan. North Korea's provocative actions sure to have been a main topic of discussion. And tomorrow, the president will meet face to face with Russian President Vladimir Putin for the first time at the G20 summit. Wyatt. Mark, I understand President Trump expressed his commitment to Europe and NATO today. That's right. Today, President Trump praised Poland for keeping its commitments to NATO. President Trump also says he backs a NATO provision requiring the U.S. to defend allies if they come under attack. Wyatt. Correspondent Mark Irons at the White House. Thanks, Mark.